The following video is a video that I went to London with, and I went with my Osmo Pocket 3. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to check out how the Freewell filters would actually work with the Osmo Pocket 3. I hope you enjoy. Arrived in London, gonna head on through these turnstiles. And when I do, I'll give you a quick look at what Waterloo looks like. So this is a quick view. Of what the station actually looks like. There's the famous clock. W.A. Smith, Pratt. We're gonna head to Brixton. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down. This is the advertisement. We value your safe passage through Waterloo Station. Escalators are moving machinery, so to avoid any injuries. Okay, see you when I'm about to jump on the train. Going to head to Stockwell, then on to Brixton. So just got off a train from Stockwell. This is the journey. I'll jump on this train. The reason I love Brixton so much is because they're all kind of street vendors. There's all kind of people. There's all kind of cosmo. It's a cosmopolitan area where you can get anything and everything. Look the rich, vibrant colors you see when you come to Brixton. And the art. On Oxford Street. And that's another side where they're having a protest. And I'm off of Regent Street right now. Um, and this is how sunny it looks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a Freewell ND filter 16. And that is the difference between the Freewell uh, 16 and the normal shots. Now what I love about the Freewell ND filters is that you can actually turn them. So you can actually turn them to make them darker and to actually make sure that you're getting the right shot. So that is, again, that is, let's go here, that is with the ND filter right there and if I take it off like this that is without the ND filter and I've, it's an ND filter ND16 so that's the difference between them now we're going to adventure to Trafalgar Square and then see how the other filters will fit in and will actually help the shots look better <music> Okay, this is the 32 filter. It's a little darker than the 16. So if I set it here, twist it a little, and you notice now that it's slightly darker. So I'm going to stop it a moment and twist it a little bit more. And you can see again that it's gotten slightly darker. So I wouldn't go any place, to be honest with you, without the Freewell filters anywhere. Not with the Osmo Pocket 3, because I know, especially if it's sunny here, you're going to need to have the filters. Again, this is with the 32. Okay, here what I've done is I've dropped on the 64. So let's have a pan around and see what this looks like with the 64. So this is the 64 ND filter. And I'm actually shooting in auto. 
My honest, honest opinion, I wouldn't go any place without the free well filters ever again with the Osmo Pocket. Um, it is incredible, the sunglasses that they provide for the actual camera itself. Here we go, this is on the River Thames. And this is a normal shot here without any ND filters. So that's the amazing city of London all the way over there with St. Paul's in the foreground. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to a 16. Okay, this is with the 16. Right here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna adjust the 16 a little. So I'm gonna adjust it. And I'm just gonna then come back the other way. So that is the 16. Okay, let's see what it looks like with a 64. Okay, that is with a 64. filter on here now this is the back of Waterloo station and we're getting ready to go to the station and head back home okay back in Waterloo station this is where you would catch Eurostar to go to Paris etc etc